Introducing PostX and WP Bakery integration. Today I'm gonna show you how to use Gutenberg blocks in WP Bakery using PostX. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, make sure that you have the PostX plugin installed and activated on your site. Now from your WordPress dashboard, go to the add-on section of PostX and enable Save Templates. To create a new template, go to Save Templates and click on the Add New Template button. On the Save Template page, enter the name of the template. If you want, you can use any of PostX's Gutenberg block to make your template from scratch. Or you can use one of PostX's pre-made template. All these templates are made out of PostX's Gutenberg block. For this video, we're going to be using the News2 template. As you can see, the template is imported with just a click of a button. If you want, you can further customize the template according to your preference. Once you're done, you must click on the Publish button for the template to be saved. Now that we have created the saved template, we can use them in the WP Bakery. To do so, once again from your WordPress dashboard, go to the Add-on section and enable WP Bakery Elements. Now that we have created a saved template and also enabled WP Bakery Element, let's edit a page using the WP Bakery Builder. Click on Add Elements and select Post 6 Template. Now from the menu, select the template that we just created and click on the Save Changes button. And that's how easy it is to use Gutenberg blocks in WP Bakery using Post 6. Finally, click on the Update button to save the changes. Now let's see how our page looks in the front end. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content.